Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at the Aries RTA from Inakin. Now this is going to come in 5mm and 2mm guises and the one I have here is the 5mm. Obviously the TPD one will be 2mm in the UK. 5mm one, uh, I think price wise you're going to be looking about £30 for this. That's kind of the average price I've seen it for in the UK. Now this was designed by two Americans, um, one Greek and one that thinks he's Greek or Italian, I never know. Anyway, uh, the guys that are behind this, Phil and Dimitri, a, a lot of respect for them, but uh, as always I'll just review this as I would any other RTA. What I will say is, in the description and in the top corner there are four videos that are on the Inican website that take you through this RTA from beginning to end, how to set it up, issues, everything. It, it, they are very good videos, there's there's no two ways about it. This is kind of like a high level overview. If you want to get into the nitty gritty, I would strongly suggest that you go and watch those videos. If you are new to RTAs or building and coiling and so on, then go and watch those videos. I approach it at a very high level. I am taking it that you know how to coil and you know how to build already. If you want more in depth information, go and click in the links in the description for this video. But without any further waffling, close-ups. So here we go, the Aries by Phil Bissardo and the Vaping Greek no less. Right, uh, typical Inokin packaging, I mean it's hard to fault this stuff and once you get inside it's just, uh, it's about as good as it gets. No, actually it's not, it's pretty, oh go on better. <gasps> oh and they're just so bonny. This did really crack me up, I'm sorry guys but it did, it was just it's just brilliant. The thing is that Dimmy looks nothing like this anymore. He's half the man he was. Uh, right, so um, this is the Platform Series, uh, designed by Pete Bizzardo, Phil Bizzardo, Paul Bizzardo and the Vaping Greek. Inside we have more branding and we have a little thank you note from the guys as well. And you've got a little QR code on the back of there. Under all that jazz you're going to find one tank and it comes in stainless steel and it comes in black as well. The black one is the one that I've been using uh, but uh, we'll just because this is brand spanky new we'll show you this one it's nice and clean and tidy. Now underneath all this you get lots of goodies. Now first thing you've got a manual here I mean this folds out and this really does cover absolutely Everything you need to know, all the relevant information is in the manual there. It's Inokin, it's done really well. Also inside you've got like, uh, this is like a smoke tank in here, we have spare o-rings so you can colour code the tank as well. You'll see there you can see you've got the black o-rings here, you can change them out for green and white also. There's also a more traditional 510 drip tip in there as well. We have some coils pre-made, ready to go. Uh, we also have some wire and we also have some cotton. And we've also got some spare terminal screws here and some building rods as well. Now I am not going to do a full breakdown on how to use these or, or a full on review. Uh, I will link to Phil's own build tutorials and his guide to this atty. So if you're just coming across this for the first time, you want to know how to build on this using these tools, then I would strongly suggest you go and follow the links and watch those videos. The tank itself is stainless steel and you can see we have Inokin branding around here. We have instructions on push to fill here and you've got a little arrow up there as well. Uh, this is the wide bore drip tip. We have a narrow drip tip as well, the one that was in with the glass tank. And it's, you know, this is, it's a bonny tank. I mean, it is 24 millimeter, personally. I would love to have seen a 22. Hopefully that'll come down the line, but this is a 24. You can also see we've got branding on the side here as well, and some more going on here. The only thing that's missing is a Coca-Cola logo. Maybe that's on the bottom. No, it's not. Uh, we have Aries, we have Inokin and MTL. Now up the top, this is a standard 510 drip tip. I've had no issues getting my drip tips on there and they've all fitted in quite nicely. It's nice and snug that, no problems. If you want to fill this, you just take your thumb or finger and just push that there and you can fill your tank up from here. It's a simple mechanism. It works really, really well and I don't have one single issue with that. 
This is a 5mm tank, this one, and if we want to get in about it, we just grab the base here and we're just going to unscrew it like this. And out she comes. And if you wanted to, you could pull the tank off, you can change the O-rings and muck about there. But you can see that little chimney, a little bell cap inside here, it's all domed. It's domed right round here. And actually, I'll just take the glass off just to show you this, how well it's done. And this is certainly what's going to help with the flavour, that little chamber there. Now the airflow holes at the bottom, uh, you know, we've got an airflow ring here and I could, you know, I could just have it open like that. But there's a little hole on the side there and I can slide that round and you can see that we can go very tight and then we can keep moving and we can open it up and change our draw. The draw I will discuss at the end, um, I, I really want to have a good talk about that. But yeah, you can also open it up just like this. But that air is going to come through that hole and it's going to come up into here. And you can see that we've got like a diffuser system going on here. So the air is going to be distributed evenly underneath your coil. There's no reducers or anything like that. It's just whatever you have set here dictates how much air comes through and comes out here. Putting a coil in this could not be easier. I mean, it's literally little Phillips screws here and just obviously you get the tools with it, but I'm just going to use my own screwdriver here. There we go. And hopefully you can see, you know, where the coil is going to lie inside there. And obviously this is a single coil RTA. Now this is a mouth to lung RTA, this is not for your big beefy Clapton coils and things like that. I mean you would get thin Clapton wire through there, you can use that. But uh, I would advise standard, you know, just round wire going through this thing. I mean this is one of the supplied coils and it really doesn't get any easier. I just lie in like that, don't, and I just tighten the screws off and I'm good to go. It really is very, very easy to build on this. I'm not even going to use a tool here, I'm going to cheat and use my fingers. I'm just going to pin that wire down so it doesn't spin out. One coil in, clip the wires off, doink, doink. I will say that you know when you are screwing uh, these terminal screws back in, you do have to keep that wire pinned down because you'll find if you don't, when you're screwing it in, it will actually grab the wire and try to spit it back out. So just pin it down with your finger when you're tightening it off. And that's heating up evenly. I mean, that's just at 14 watts. This is a 1.2 ohm coil. There's nothing mysterious to the cotton either. I've just passed it through and I just, you know, fold it down till it's level with the deck and just snip that off. I really need better scissors. Fold it down again, just take a little bit of excess off there. Now this side's okay, uh, but this side I've got just a bit too much cotton on there because I'm just going to snip a little bit off. And what we're going to do is we're going to pass the cotton down, make sure that it's sitting in that wicking channel just right there. And effectively it's going to sit like that. I'll tell you what, we'll do this the easy way. I'll get the other one out that I've actually been using. So here's the black one, this is the one I've been using. So good thing is that you can get into your deck, you know, whilst you've been using it. And I'm just going to unscrew this. When I unscrew it, I just give it a, a little second just to let the juice settle down. And hopefully you can see that it's running down into the chamber here. If you undo it too quickly, then you might find that liquid coming out through the drip tip there. So you can see how I've been running mine. This is, I've been using this for a few days now. That's a bit janky. Uh, but, you know, the cotton is just, doesn't want to protrude past the threads here. If it does, then it'll get caught. So I would suggest when you're building it that you actually prime the cotton before you pass it down here. Because remember, it's going to expand a bit. If you've got too much liquid in there, you could choke it off. So just got it like that, and it just works away quite the thing. Just take that, drop it in there, and thread it on. And I do have to say the machining on this is perfect. I, I don't have one issue with the machining, it's bang on. And there she is in the black. Uh, now I will say, as it's just a habit for me, I'm just, I'm gonna say this, you don't have to do this, but it's what I choose to do, is I choose to close off all the air holes. You know, everything just shut down there when I'm filling. Push it to open, boink, like that. 
fill it up with juice, close it off, turn it upside down and then I put it to the air hole that I want to vape with and then turn it back and you know that, that, that just helps you know if there's going to be any leaking in any of these kind of devices that's where it'll occur so doing that whole kind of thing kind of does away with that should have also pointed out we do have a gold plated 510 pin here as well and it does protrude nicely from the 510 threading but really that is it for the close-ups and I think everything else I will cover in the summary now whilst I've been using this RTA I am normally on just over 1 ohm on the build and I'm about 15 watts that's that's where I've been vaping this it's where I've been enjoying it and I do enjoy it uh, I usually have it at its tightest setting just because it's it's enjoyable uh, I mean right now here we go That's really nice. The flavour on this, and we'll, we'll do the pros, here we go. Flavours, very, very good. Can't take away from the flavour on this RTA, it's spot on. The build quality on this RTA is also spot on. Everything moves as it should. Uh, there's nothing janky or, or, or threads that are just wrong. It's it's all tick tick on that front. The supplied parts, the, um, the two drip tips, the tank, the o-rings, the instructions, everything's tick tick tick, very very good. I would say that if, you know, for a mouth to lung, if you want a mouth to lung, proper mouth to lung, then use the the non wide bore drip tip. <laughs> uh, this is the wide bore drip tip, use the other one if you want a truer mouth to lung experience. Now. Even at that, with the airflow turned right down, this for me is not. I've been vaping since 2012, and when I started vaping, mouth to lung was really all there was, and and, and it was very very tight. You were like 0 0.7, 0 0.8 was the size of the air hole. It was so tight, and it was just like a cigarette. I don't think this is. Even at its tightest, with the right drip tip on it, I don't think it's as tr I don't think it's a true mouth to lung as we remember back in the day. I do, however, think that when you compare it to other ERTAs on the market and so on, that yes, it will give you a mouth to lung experience. That, that, yeah, there's no two ways about it. It will give you a mouth to lung experience. But old farts like myself that remember what true mouth to lung was like might not it might not do it for them. If you've used the Berserker, uh, then that at its tightest was a true mouth to lung. This isn't. You can actually open this up and you can almost do a quite a restricted direct lung hit. There are no bits to interchange, they just have that, you know, the air hole under the coil with the diffuser built in. Some people may say, yeah, well you're not getting a true mouth to lung because the air hole underneath the coil is not the same size as the reduced air hole on the airflow ring so you're not getting that proper mouth to lung experience and I would tend to agree in that I can't really knock it, it, it it's giving good flavour a tight draw and it is a good RTA I think for the purest out there look elsewhere it's not for you, but for people that are, you know, looking for a cheap, tight draw RTA, then you, you'll struggle to get better as a kit, you know, all the information. Go, I mean, this goes out to people that don't build, don't coil, are new to the game and so on. They, just to go off and watch the videos that I have linked to in the description and up in the corners, you will get a full breakdown on this RTA, a full tutorial on how to use it properly um, and I would strongly recommend that you go and watch it. I'm going to stop waffling, I still think it's a good RTA but it doesn't give that true 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 mouth to lung experience that some people may be looking for. Still good though.
Well done, guys. Anyway, thank you to Inakin for sending this on. I did get it free to review. To you, as always, thank you for your patience and for watching. And until next time, bye for now.